My, my, my dad been locked up since I was 10. Okay, he's still locked up now? Yeah. How many years did he get? Like 30. 30 years? He got charged under like the Kingpin statue in, in yeah. Iowa Davenport. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever seen him? Have you went to visit? Any of that? Do you have a relationship with him? Do you, does he call? He calls. I went to go, like, like, like last time I seen my dad was when I was like 16. Mm-hmm. Mm. And how do you feel about that? Did it affect you when you were a kid growing up? Yeah. Because you yeah. have kids now, so a lot of times we try to make up for what we didn't have when we was younger with our kids. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about that? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh, okay. You know, I ain't You forgot to change yeah, I forgot. it. I got to talking nigga. Forgot all about that one was up there. <laughs> Let me put your damn bitch up. I'm in my cousin. <laughs> I know that. So, Lil Snoopy was, was, was your cousin. Yeah. Man, I remember being in my cell, getting awakened by niggas fighting. Stressed out in this bitch, cuz ain't nobody right. And and I, and she peace. just she rest in peace. And she just said that you didn't even you never even disclosed that when you was trying to make your way. And I, and Love I thought her. we just talked about that on yeah. here before you got here. It's gonna come out. But yeah, she she really big up that the fact that you wanted to pave your own way. That's that's hard, man. Mm -hmm. Most niggas will ride anything they can get on, nigga. Anything they can, any bandwagon, nigga chunking everything to get a like out here in this hole. It's crazy out here, man. <laughs> I feel like nobody would like, would like respect who I am. Yeah, mm -hmm. did that. Yeah. But what I want to know, I want to know, cause um, you said you were homeless at one point. Okay, you were raised in North Dallas with your mom and dad. No, nah, my mom. With your mom, where was your dad? My my, my dad been locked up since I was ten. Okay, he's still locked up now? Yeah. How many years did he get? Like 30. 30 years? He got charged under like the Kingpin statue in, in yeah. Iowa Davenport. Mm. Mm -hmm. So have you ever seen him? Have you went to visit? Any of that? Do you have a relationship with him? Do you, does he call? He calls. I went to go, like, like, like last time I seen my dad was when I was like 16. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. And how do you feel about that? Did it affect you when you were a kid growing up? Yeah. Because you yeah. have kids now, so a lot of times we try to make up for what we didn't have when we was younger with our kids. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about that? We get my nigga napkin. <laughs> <laughs> I make my nigga emotional in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Here. Nah, like I fuck with my daddy, but same time I don't. You put it down, yeah, and take that off, yeah. You don't. You do, but you don't. But that's life, cause even like with friends and people, you know, one minute we into them, next minute we not. People are human beings. Nobody's perfect. People make mistakes. And there's always time to grow. We always say, you know, sometimes we are who we, who we see. And a lot of times, as we get older, we blame our parents for different things because we don't know what they had to go through when they were younger. And until they open up, and I, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm older, but then people before me never talked about feelings. They kept mm -hmm. all of that in. It wasn't my place to ask them certain questions because I have cousins who be like, I could never ask my mama that. You crazy? And I'm like, you have to heal. If you don't want to carry down that generational curse to your kids, you better ask them questions. Whether you get an answer or not, you got to say, I forgive you. You got to say, I love you. Because even when you don't mean to pass that on to your own kids, it goes on sometimes. Yeah. And you have to. Well, you know, one thing about it, Really, you just, you, you got to understand, man, everybody go through something for a reason. Mm -hmm. When you done faced life, you really done been, I'm a real, real street, I done did it. I, I, I don't even supposed to say this on here because I really don't tell my business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, you, you know, I, I understand how, you know, your dad could get 30 years. You know, when you done looked at a, a, a face a lot of time, you, you basically, that could have been me. 
You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, there and and it's ways that they trick you up, and then that's still a, that's still your father, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people count you out, man. Like I said, I wasn't a bad person, but I promise you, it could have been me. Yeah, and that's, that's the crazy the part. You better, yeah. That's you better, cause the nigga, they used to you look at to me and be talking change. about that nigga. That man, he that nigga bad. He this, he that. And then it was plots. You got to understand, even the judicial system is set up to make us fail. Mm -hmm. When you go and look in that courtroom, that courtroom ain't for us. Mm -hmm. It ain't not. I am so wrecked out when I go to a courtroom. Go in one. Y'all can go tomorrow. All y'all. You going to be like, damn, I'm supposed to be in here. Yeah, I'd be nervous. Yeah. Think about it. It's, it's not for us. Thing, I'd yeah. be nervous. So you think about that. How easy it is for our people to get tricked up, bro. Mm -hmm. And as and, long and as you're <laughs> still here, you have a chance to to... To fix stuff, you know what I mean? Because once a person is gone, you're gonna be like, man, I wish I did. I wish I made that yeah. call. I wish I took that call. You don't want that. Keep answering that phone, man, because I'm telling yeah. you right now, society, uh, man, that uh, man, uh, that DA down there, he got so many black people out of jail when he got in the office down there because they had put fake drugs and all kind of stuff mm -hmm. on black people, bro. Y'all better stop playing, man. These people, they want to make you look bad. And when you're young like y'all, they'll take y'all out so fast, bro. So, I, and, and that's the crazy part, is that our people are so quick to jump on a bandwagon with something that don't even make no sense, bro. Anytime. Right now, they laughing at Kanye. Ah, mm -hmm. Nigga, that's my, that's still my, that's, he's still a brother. Mm -hmm. yeah. Regardless of how niggas laugh, I don't care, nigga, I'm keeping him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's, that's me, that I'm keeping that nigga, no matter what. That nigga look like us when he look in the mirror, bro. And at the end of the day, if he going through something where he's saying crazy stuff, okay, is y'all going to leave him there? Mm -hmm. He could evolve. He done did something that m most niggas ain't never done in their yeah, life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. be able to do it. And that's probably why they're trying to take the nigga down. Because mm -hmm. they don't want y'all to look at somebody yeah. and it look like something that y'all can go toward that's going to make you better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They ain't looking to help us. So if you see somebody trying to take something down, you I might ought to think, why are they doing it? Do your research. Yeah, well, he said this, he said that. It don't matter. Don't you know. They still, if he didn't say nothing, he still nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, Stop sure. playing, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.